daily writing habit. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you started writing your book, but you're having some trouble getting it done, you are in the right place. Good morning. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. And I am so excited to introduce my special guest on the show here today. Lauren Herring is CEO of Impact Group, the largest woman-owned career coaching company supporting over 200 Fortune 500 companies worldwide. Over the past 30 years, Impact Group has successfully helped hundreds of thousands of people find jobs. Additionally, Lauren has donated Impact Group's services to thousands of individuals in underserved communities, helping them to find jobs, dignity, and economic independence. She has received the Game Changer Award by Workforce Magazine and has been published or quoted in the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, and Fast Company. Lauren's passion for making a positive impact led her to write the book, Take Control of Your Job Search, as well as her previous book, This Side Up. When not running her business, Lauren can be found running the streets of St. Louis while training for a triathlon or spending time with her husband, Ted, and two children. Welcome, Lauren. Hi, Christine. Thanks so much for having me on. This is so great. And thanks for reminding me about the, the triathlon piece. I always love to hear about business people and entrepreneurs who have that outside passion, so they're not, not just tied to their desk all the time. So that's refreshing to read about. Absolutely. Well, I know you're quite into the circus life, so I, I know <laughs> what it's like to have passion. My listeners know about it, too. <laughs> you won't be surprised to hear. All right, well, let's get to it. This is exciting. So we just learned a little bit about you, but tell me more about, you know, what you do for a living, specifically why you love your job and why you're so passionate about your, your life and your job in general. Sure. So as you mentioned, I'm CEO of Impact Group. We're a global career development company. We help people find jobs through career coaching, which is a proven way to have a faster landing. We have over 200 coaches at Impact Group globally, and we specialize in helping people find jobs after they've been laid off, uh, after they've moved because of a corporate relocation, we help the spouse find a job, and then we also do leadership development, especially in the women in leadership space. So I love this work so much because it aligns with my personal mission, which is to make a positive impact on the lives that I touch. And I get to do this every day because we help people find jobs. And there's almost no other way to help someone in gaining dignity and self-respect and passion for life as in the work that we do by helping people find jobs. And on a personal level, I'm passionate about life in general. And uh, you mentioned my husband, Ted. I also have two children, Kennedy and Luca. And Luca is just four months old. So with my book just coming out, uh, he was kind enough to share my maternity leave with, with, uh, this, uh, um, with Take Control of Your Job Search. <laughs> That's very nice of him. <laughs> very cool. Busy, busy. All right. Well, speaking of the job search, congratulations on your latest book, which is called Take Control of Your Job Search. 10 Emotions You Must Master to Land the Job. And I say latest because this is your second book, as we learned a few moments ago. You're such a prolific author. So before we get into the new book, can you share with my listeners about your first book, This Side Up, A Simple Guide to Your Successful Relocation? Uh, what inspired you to write this and who is it for? Sure. Well, as I mentioned, one of the things that we do is help people find jobs after they've relocated to a new city. And at Impact Group, we have a unique approach to thinking about relocation in a very holistic way, just because it is a life transition and helping people with uh, just because you're moving from A to B doesn't mean that it's that easy to pick up your life and reestablish it someplace. So this side up is basically imagine you're at the local coffee shop with your best friend who's been there, done that a hundred times with relocation. And that's what I tried to create in the feeling of this side up. So that 
there's some simple uh, uh, guides and worksheets and things to think about just to make the whole process a little smoother and help you recreate a life that you're going to love in a new area. That's awesome. Super valuable information there. Very yeah, cool. and so now, it's great yeah. that we've been able. Oh, yeah, sorry, we've been able to yeah. take uh, 20, 30 years of the experience of our many, many coaches at Impact Group and pull that into both this side up and take control of your job search. Excellent. Collaborative of knowledge, always a very good thing. Love that. So yeah, speaking of, onto your latest book, uh, which helps job seekers master the 10 emotions they need to take control of their job search and land the job. Obviously, such an important topic now, maybe more so than ever before in light of the pandemic and how I would assume job opportunities have diminished. But before we get into that, can you tell us about um, how this book came about? Absolutely. Well, after my last book on relocation, I knew that I had another book in me and I wanted it to be on job search, but there's so many books out there on the job search process that I really wanted to have an angle that was unique and that would make an impact because uh, the world doesn't need just another job search book. And it was in the uh, product development process at Impact Group when we were really looking at what is necessary in a contemporary job search these days. And it became so clear in really digging into best practices in job search that dealing with the emotional aspect of the ups and downs of the job search is so critical. And there's no other job search, job search book really out there that effectively deals with this topic. But it's so needed. And so when I put those pieces together, it became crystal clear that this is the book that I should write, and uh, really a book that's needed out there by people that are looking for jobs. Excellent. And how are you thinking, it could be speculative at this point, or you might already be seeing it, that the, uh, the COVID pandemic might affect your book, uh, particularly in terms of how valuable it is to job seekers? Well, it's interesting because job search is always stressful. So that part doesn't change except for it's probably more stressful than ever right now because not only are people concerned about finding a job or just um, you know can they make ends meet financially but there's also life and death health concerns uh, that are put into the mix so there's an added layer of anxiety uh, the economy has is been affected tremendously by this so there's increased competition for jobs and so that really makes it all the more important for people to have the confidence to stand out in your search, to be focused on networking, to know exactly who you are and focus on your brand, which I know you're very passionate about as well, Christine, with a focus on branding. And uh, that's critical in a job search because when things are down and obviously, especially in times like this, it's easy to get down in a job search. Going back to who you are at your best and your personal brand is an example of something that can help people uh, tap into their, their, um, what makes them great and it can help build confidence. And right now, confidence is absolutely necessary. Uh, so um, that is critical in, in this time with job search. And the other piece is no matter how you're feeling in the job search, whether it's frustrated or lonely, or maybe you're in a really good place, there is uh, an emotion that you can flip to, to how you're feeling that day and get some inspiration for some things that you can do to help move you forward. Excellent. And if you don't mind, I have, I just thought of another question based on some of the things we were just talking about. Uh, so I'm thinking that there are probably a lot of people now that are searching for jobs that maybe normal, they never thought that this would be happening. So I'm not sure if, you know, any job searchers, what percentage are anticipating that they're going to become a job searcher, obviously like new grads from college or whatever, but it seems like there's probably a lot of people that are very, very, very shockingly and unexpectedly out of work. So, you know, where would the role of your book and specifically emotions play into that crowd of people that are just, you know, they had no intention of, you know, being at this point where all of a sudden they have to search for a job. Right. So in the book, we divide it up between our um, emotions of loss, emotions that paralyze, and emotions that move you forward. 
And uh, so certainly the people that uh, you're talking about that are all of a sudden shocked that they find themselves in this situation are probably feeling mostly initially emotions of loss. Uh, that could be uh, that it's a sadness over a loss of a planned future or sadness over the fact that they were just coming up on retirement from a particular company and now they have to start all over at a new company before they can uh, um, before they can actually retire. Um, it could be a loss of a sense of community. So there's all sorts of emotions uh, that pop up, especially if you're not anticipating looking for a job. Um, and, and, and so this book does have some specific tactics on how to address these uh, situations, um, a lot of which is allow yourself to feel that emotion. So just because you're out of work doesn't mean that you absolutely have to immediately the first day go out and start uh, uh, working on your resume and getting your, your network 100% in place. Yes, it's important to move those steps forward. But in some cases, it's really critical to just take a little bit of time also to let yourself feel some of that uh, loss or sadness or, um, or shock or even anger. Absolutely. And yeah, you just offered so many great uh, tips right there. I was wondering, can you pick one of the emotions? You talked about the different ways the emotions are categorized in your book. Can, but can you pick one single emotion and give us kind of like a, a quick tip for job seekers about something they can do to help them work through that emotion? Yeah. So the, the one that I'll probably hit on here uh, is fear. So especially right now, in the world of COVID-19, there's a lot of fear in our culture and certainly even more so than usual in job search because of uh, whether it's health concerns around the pandemic or the amount of competition out there. So one of the things that helped me to actually see the need for this book was I, uh, I met a man who was looking for a job. He was an executive and we were networking, and while we were having this conversation about what he was looking for, he proceeded to show me spreadsheet after spreadsheet after PowerPoint after brochure. He had everything in his job search lined out to such a T that it was overwhelming for me on the other end of this networking meeting to try and see, okay, who is this person and, and how can I help him? And what I realized is that fear was driving his search, and that was manifesting in manic action. And so it was just like the more the better, let me just pile on all this stuff. So that's one way that fear can show up. It can also just stop you in your tracks and completely paralyze you in like a, a fight or flight response in both of these different uh, scenarios on each end of the spectrum. And so in the book, I have various exercises to uh, give yourself permission to feel that fear and anxiety. Or um, if you're afraid of interviewing, for example, how do you make sure that you have um, uh, opportunities for yourself to practice interviewing? If you're afraid of it, that it means that that's an opportunity for you to lean into that fear and practice it, practice it, practice it, so that you can start to anticipate some of those questions, have your game plan ready, uh, practice on Zoom, practice on uh, in-person if possible uh, in, in this uh, social distancing world. And um, my personal favorite tactic around fear is to imagine what's the worst thing that can happen about being jobless right now. And, you know, maybe that it's you won't find a job for a year or more. So then that helps you work backwards. And you can say, well, what would happen if I didn't find a job after a year? And you can start to actually put some plans in place to make sure that whether it's financially or from your reputation, from your contacts, uh, what is the conversations that you need to be having with your, your family, so that even if the worst does happen, you're prepared for it, but you can also put pieces in place so that it doesn't happen. And that is something where... Uh, I've even used this tactic myself uh, in other situations besides 
uh, besides in job search, and it has been tremendously useful in helping me to take down this giant thought of fear of terrible things happening to make it very specific. And then you say, okay, yes, if that happens, could I live through it? Yes. Would I be okay? Yes. Okay. How can I avoid it? And that's one example of one of the tactics that I put out there in the book that um, is extremely productive. That's a great one. Yeah. Because I know, you know, fear of the unknown can be absolutely paralyzing. So that that's one of the things that I love to do too, where it's like, you know, how can I take the unknown out of this? Because if you just sit there and, you know, continuously spin in this like mental cycle of just like, you know, what if, what if, and no, there's like some big black cloud coming at me or whatever, that that's not really productive. So I love that what you just said about that. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So tell us all the important details about your book and how people can get it and when and all the details like that. Well, the book is available today, July 14th on Amazon and in other retailers as well. So that's very exciting that it, we are uh, live and it's available on both an ebook and a paperback copy, especially in these days. Um, I, I wanted to make sure that it's very affordable, very accessible. That um, And that's why I decided to go with a paperback version only, because um, if you're looking for a job, I want to make sure that you have the most affordable way to access this book. Excellent. Very smart. Yes. Let's help as many people as you possibly can. And that's what we talk about here on the show all the time as authors. That's why we do what we do. So, yeah, thank yep. you so much for being on the show today, Lauren. So appreciate you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, take control of your job search, 10 emotions you must master to land the job is live and ready to go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I will make sure to put a link to that in the show notes as well. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me here on your daily writing habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Until tomorrow, happy writing. <laughs>